Hey gang, Jerry T here, and today on the Manchester Psycho Deer. That's right. And I am just leaving Best Buy and did a little shopping. We had a break in the weather, so I had to take advantage of that. And I'm actually doing a voiceover from a um, video that I did um, in December. And I'm uh, I screw screwed the audio all up on that. So, um, but I saved the video, and I thought maybe I'd use it. And um, because I've been out uh, after I had surgery, I can't ride right this time right now. Um, I thought I'd take advantage of using the video and talking about a couple things that are up and coming uh, for us on the channel. And uh, first, I want to thank all the viewers for. Um, uh, subscribing and uh, watching the channel I appreciate that very much so um, if you can you really help the channel out by subscribing um, uh, and liking the, the uh, channel uh, it helps us with the uh, algorithms for for YouTube and uh, it allows us to produce more content so um, but uh, today um, I'm on Brook Park Road and heading down to Big Creek Parkway, where our this is our um, our home trail um, begins or ends up here. Um, this is Brook Park Road. On the other side of Brook Park is Cleveland. On the side I'm on is Parma, the city of Parma. So it divides the uh, cities. And uh, this is where the uh, parkway will begin or end depending on which way you look at it so um but yeah so um the parkway here is nice because it connects boy just it, for a biker it's a biker's dream because this goes north and south at, at dead ends at uh, emerald necklace and emerald necklace is a loop 80 mile loop around the whole city so it connects you to that it also connects you to the what I call the towpath that runs through um, uh, Cleveland, uh, the lakeshore up by Lake Gary, which we just did a video on that. Um, our urban run uh, takes you from Cleveland all the way to Cincinnati. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, it's 300 some miles. So so right here is where Big Creek starts. And or begins or ends depending on which end you live on and I live roughly about um, a mile and a half off of this path so I can pick this up uh, pretty quick and uh, connect me so so but <clears throat> anyway I got a great subject to talk about today <clears throat> and that is um, when is the best time to buy that e-bike or accessories? So, uh, I know it's a tough subject because uh, Christmas was here. We've we've really spent our our load. We, you know, we've we've really um, blew it. But um, you know what I what I you know, if you're doing what I tell my kids to do, get a change jar, save up your change for the year. Um, in my case, um, in my change jars turned into a dollar bill jar because uh, during COVID, it seemed like the change had disappeared. Everybody was hurting for change. So um, I started collecting dollar bills instead. So, so, but anyway, the point is to save that money up for a time when you can really use it. And I'm going to tell you right the best time, I think, to purchase an e-bike or e-bike accessories is the first quarter of the year and that's right now January February March um, I know you see a lot of sales you see a lot of great deals um, for uh, Black Friday but um, I'm gonna tell you I think really um, what happens is yeah they do a lot of promotions in Black Friday but they, it's usually a lot of gimmicks where they throw a lot of accessories in with a bike purchase and stuff like that. Stuff you don't need. 
Ah, hey guys. I love seeing the families on the trail. Um, but, um, yeah, I think uh, January, February, March, because they are getting ready for the new spring um, uh, rotation of inventory. So, you know, bike companies are looking to get rid of uh, inventory. So... Um, I think now is the best time, really, to get your best deal. Um, so let me just say first that most of these bikes come from China, um, which is not a big deal to me, and uh, you can't help it, you can't avoid it. <clears throat> so um, uh, in the middle of February, they have their holiday, their, their New Year's holiday, which is uh, they shut down for 10 days straight. So that has just happened. Uh, in the middle of February that happens and then they're when they come out of that they're ready to go with they have a plan they have new new product they're going to be launching for spring um, and uh, new inventory new accessories they want to get rid of the old stuff um, so I think now is the time to really uh, get that change jug out and uh, get yourself what you want uh, because you're going to probably get the best deals and don't be afraid to negotiate with these guys. Say, hey, you know, I, I saw that bike on sale for twelve hundred bucks um, at one point in time, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to buy. I'm just not ready to buy at thirteen hundred bucks. And a lot of times they'll say okay and give you the deal. So um, it, it's really a good time to to really they want to move their inventory. They want to get it off the shelf. They want to bring in the new stuff. <clears throat> and um, so I think, you know, uh, really right now is the best time. And I think if you, if you, you know, just panic by, um, that is when you get yourself in trouble. That's when you probably spend more than you have to. So um, I know Jen, she just got herself a brand new set of tires. And I told her last year when she got the bike, I said, uh, start looking now. Find find a pair of tires that you like, and put them in your cart, and have them ready to go, and start watching for sales. So um, she just purchased a really nice set of white walls. She had them in her cart, and she saved up, and they went on sale um, here, and uh, she took advantage of it and uh, bought them. So um, so we got uh, some new shoes for the Ocelot Pro. All right. So, and I need to start doing that for the deer, actually. Um, I'm putting a lot of miles on that thing, on this thing. So, um, there's a tough intersection. You come off this nice big hill. And make sure you don't get run over and cross. So, um, but yeah, I think uh, the first quarter of the year, I think, is a great time to buy. Um, again, if you're saving your pennies, saving your nickels, um, it, you're really able to um, look and find and get, you know, get the product you want for the price you want to pay. Um, you know, again, no one's going to, there's no fire sale going on, but you'll be able to get an, a decent deal. Um, you'll probably be able to negotiate the best price of the year <clears throat> right now. So, and again, call them up and don't be afraid to negotiate. Now, again, calling them up is, <laughs> I say that in jest, because um, when you deal with these companies, um, you really need to uh, be very fluent with messenger and uh, email. Um, that's the way to communicate with uh, these companies, because they're on a different time zone. Uh, they're good people. They're good hearted people. They care um about uh um you know they care about your your happiness um i see that um with a, a lot of these companies uh, and i give you that that there are a few that really don't care they just want the sale and they're going to run so uh, that's why you know i i really am skittish about who i deal with <clears throat> and uh, I'm lucky I've negotiated some pretty good deals and we got a brand new um, supplier that we're going to be working with for their e-bikes and doing their uh, um, doing reviews at their bikes and uh, I'm really excited about that and uh, 
So that's coming up here in the year. We got uh, first bike coming. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see how everything goes and if they keep their word on things and uh, before I start telling you how great they are. And I already think they're great. So um, so it's a company that actually has um, uh, affordable e-bikes. For, you know, not everybody can afford two grand for an e-bike. So, uh, but this company, they have, uh, a, they are probably the oldest company out there. Um, they've been around the longest and uh, they have a very broad selection. They have cargo bikes, they have cruisers, they have fat tires, they have uh, trikes, they have a very broad selection. So there's something there for everybody. Um, and we are going to be doing our first review of their product here next, uh, coming up very shortly. So, but, um, you know, it's tough to find companies you feel comfortable with. And when you do, you need to know how to, um, uh, work with them and get a hold of them and contact them to get things done. <clears throat> I see a lot of people struggle with the idea of, oh, you know, I've been trying to get a hold of these guys and they don't call me back. And well, you know, they're, they're 12 hour difference in time zone. So, um, a lot of them do have, um, warehouses in the U S um, but uh, the best way to really communicate with these guys is message and email. And realize that when you send an email, it's going to take them, you know, when you go to bed, they're getting up. So they're getting up to go to work. And so they'll get your email in the middle of the night. And, you know, I find myself negotiating with these guys um, at 3 a.m. <laughs> a lot of times. So, but... Here we're, here we're just getting off of Big Creek, and this is a stump road. It turns a New York road, but this is, I live right off this area here. So you gotta watch these wet leaves here. Um, and, that, and that's a safety, zone, uh, safety hazard. Um, so you, you may think you're in pretty good shape, but you get these patch of leaves and underneath they're all wet. Um, you can slip out, so, um, but, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna, you know, go back and talk about, yeah, this is a really, really good company that I think we found, um, that we're gonna feel comfortable with representing their products, um, and, and I'm not gonna say nothing just yet, because their, their first bike is on the way, coming to me, um, so I'm gonna wait and see if, if they've done everything they said they're gonna do. Um, so yeah, um, but again, me and Jen are pretty excited, um, that they have such a broad selection. So, but like I say, now is really a good time, um, to, you know, go back through your carts, uh, and, and look at some of your products that you've, you maybe had your eye on. Uh, you might be surprised to find they're on sale, um. Uh, you know, January, February, March is really, you know, March is coming up. We're at the end of February here now, <clears throat> but um, we're still not out of winter. But um, again, it's the, the best time to really negotiate, I think, or get yourself a deal on a uh, product. So, you know, <clears throat> save up your money, put it away. I know it's tough. Um, I know if, you know, if you have kids, Boy, that's, you know, even tougher to save money. But, you know, uh, get yourself a little change jug going and save up those pennies and nickels. And <clears throat> you'll find that uh, it adds up pretty quick. Um, I'll never forget when I, my son, um, he kind of, I, I, he kind of laughed at me and when his, <laughs> he was younger um, about me having a change jug. You know, he thought it was funny. And, uh, you know, so I'd always remind them that I have it. <clears throat> going to going to load up my uh, change jug. Going to you know empty my pockets. Anybody got any change? And he thought it was funny that I would you know beg for your change. Who's got change for my change jug? And they would give it to me happily, and I put it in my change jug. 
But I took him one day to the bank and uh, with the change jug, and I said, guess how much is in here? And he, you know, laughed at me, and uh, I think he said uh, something like uh, 45 bucks. And we got there, and it was like uh, $200, $220 in change, and he was like, whoa. So <clears throat> I think he learned that, yeah, pennies do add up to nickels, and nickels add up to dollars, and, you know, you can save up real quick. So, um, yeah, maybe once a year, maybe every other year, you pull that change jug out and count it up, and you find something that you really, really want. Um, so... We're going to zip on over here and head towards home. And, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, what I want to say is uh, I think it's uh, a good idea to get into saving habits because you're always going to want accessories. There's always going to be something you'll need for your bike or want to get or you know, the new season here, the new bikes are out, so maybe you really got a big change jug and you want to, you know, get yourself a new bike. So uh, I know I'm looking right now, so I'm looking to replace the deer with something newer. Um, uh, so I've got my eyes out there and I'm saving. So um, saving my, my dollars. <laughs> but all right, let, let me not forget. Hey, uh, Siri, open the garage door. So we'll get ready to get home. I'm going to be waiting. But, uh, yeah, so I'm uh, really looking forward to this summer. I think 2024 is going to be a great year. Um, we've got some pretty great things coming up with uh, new e-bike, new e-bike suppliers, reviews we're going to be doing we're going to be doing some really nice trips um you know uh, so there's a lot going on i'm e eager to get this over with there's a couple bikers out taking advantage of the day um, i'm really eager to get this surgery stuff over with um i had massive surgery in january 15th so um, so I'm on probably, I think, week five, six of recovery. So I got a couple more weeks to go before I'm probably in best shape. I had part of my skeleton removed to relieve pressure in my, uh, my, uh, my spinal cord or my brain stem up in my neck. So, <clears throat> so I'm letting everything heal. So here we go. Garage door open. Thank you, Siri. And I am going to call it quits, and I want to thank you for watching, and Jerry T. out.